What's good guys, Tiger here, back with another Black Ops 4 update video. I'm a bit late on this one, this is the patch 1.07. It came out a couple of days ago, but for those of you that don't know the changes, I thought I'd make a video on it, so then you can change your playstyle and your class setups accordingly to carry on having fun in Black Ops 4. Okay, so let's go over what is new. So we have double XP on multiplayer and the tier boosts, what's great because those tier boosts really are hard to get through. Nuketown is now available for PC and Xbox. There are new featured game modes. We have TDM 100 where the score limit is now 100. Mercenary Mosh Pit and Hardcore Mercenary Mosh Pit for those people who are sick and tired of being spawn trapped by teams. Gun Game and Endurance Chaos Mosh Pit is still available for PS4. What in my opinion is my all time favourite featured game mode. This is so fun. Having those really long games and being able to get loads of kills I find is really fun. Also an amazing new change what I'm so happy about. I mentioned this problem on my live stream and they have finally updated clan tags and kill counters so they properly show up on weapons now what is absolutely great okay so let's first move on to buffs now only two weapons have been buffed they're both tactical rifles the swordfish has had reduced upward recoil to achieve a more accurate burst and honestly guys this is dramatic the swordfish literally has zero recoil now and definitely feels a lot better you can pretty much connect with every single shot now the recoil doesn't affect it at all I think the swordfish is definitely a top tier weapon if it wasn't already really recommend using the swordfish the other buff comes to the AB R223. It has slightly reduced upward recoil and the four hit kill range has been increased from 25 meters to 32 meters. Now this sounds really good and I was really excited to hop into a game and use the ABR. However, I still think that it's just completely sub part of the swordfish. The three round burst means you still need to have two burst minimum in order just to get a kill and I think this gun is just far too weak. I'm not enjoying using the ABR at all. I find it really frustrating to use the swordfish is by all means the superior burst weapon however it is nice that they are making these changes to make the tactical rifles good at what they're actually supposed to be good at what is those long-range gunfights and that is exactly what they are doing and that is how these weapons do feel Okay, so the majority of the score streaks have changed in which you can unlock them. So for the score streaks that have been buffed, and what I mean by that is their score limit has been reduced so you can get them earlier. We've got the dart that has been changed from 500 to 450 and you can get it at 350 with the Comsec device. Lightning Strike was originally 900, now it's 850 and 600 with Comsec. The Century was 950, now 900 and 700 with Comsec. Sniper's Nest was 1100, now it's been changed to 1050 and 850 with the Comsec device and finally Thresher was 1250, now just 1200 and the Comsec device reduces it to 950. Okay so now moving over to nerfs and the only thing that have been nerfed are the score streak changes. So first off RCXD originally 450, now 500, Comsec device at 400. Hellstorm has had a massive change, was originally 850, now 950, so an extra 100, and 750 with the Comsec. The Mantis has been increased to 1100. In the patch notes, it doesn't say exactly what it was before. For those of you that use the Mantis, you guys will probably know. And you can get it with the Comsec device at 900. The Attack Chopper, what definitely needed changing, originally 1200, now it's been changed to 1300, and you can get it with the Comsec device at 1000. Okay, so that is buffs and nerfs out the way. Now let's just move on to changes. The only thing that has been dramatically changed has been the care package. It has received both buffs and nerfs, and these changes I feel definitely definitely needed to be made. Okay, so they have adjusted the entry and exit points to reduce delivery time and they have also increased the entry and exit speed of the chopper that delivers the care package. Also the care package is going to drop a lot more accurately to where you actually place the smoke marker. So for those of you that are having trouble by placing the smoke marker and then the care package delivers it somewhere else and it rolls and just keeps going, just goes missing, that has now been changed to help you guys. So that all sounds good with the care package, however the nerfs is they have reduced how often high end score streaks can be received. So the care package 
package has had some amazing buffs, some good quality of life changes. However, you're a lot less likely to get those really good score streaks anymore. Overall, I think that is a perfect change to the care package, in my opinion. In the final segment are changes that have happened to PC players specifically. Okay, so there have been four submachine guns that have been changed. The Spitfire, Cordite, MX-9 and the GKS. They have reduced the damage at close range and restored the previous ADS move speed. So for you console players out there, you'll be surprised to know that submachine guns were actually really strong in PC. A lot of PC players were doing really, really well with submachine guns and they definitely didn't need the buff that they needed on console. So it looks like that they have made specific PC changes to make the submachine guns fairer for PC players. Okay, so they are all the changes for patch 1.07. I really hoped you liked these changes. I definitely did. I think these changes definitely needed to be made, especially to the score streaks. And it's nice to see those tactical rifles get some love. In my opinion, I was expecting a Titan nerf coming in. I really do think it needs to be nerfed because it is still way too popular. And it is the only gun that I feel I'm getting completely melted by. Apart from that, I think weapon balancing is fairly good. I think specialists are in a really good place now. I think Ajax's nerfs to the 9-bang and everything else was amazing. I definitely think that's sorted out. I really honestly believe, whether you guys agree with me or disagree, I think Ajax is in a good place. Yes, he is annoying. He is always going to be that annoying specialist. However, I do not think he is overpowered like he was before. The strobe light, on the other hand, is still something that is annoying and is something that I still feel is too overpowered. I think they need to restore the aim assist or something. I think it's a very difficult thing to balance the strobe light. In my opinion, it's probably best to be removed or replaced with something else. However, that's just my opinion. So that is all I've got for you today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy and you want to see more, consider subscribing, turning on notifications to stay updated on all my latest content. But that is all from me. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.